Our next desirable criterion in voting is called Condorcet's criterion, named after the uh, theoretician, French theoretician named uh, Condorcet. And this criterion reads as follows if a candidate, let's say X, can b beat each of the other candidates in a head to head vote, then X should be the winner of the election. Okay, uh, we'll notice that if a candidate has a majority of the first place votes, then automatically that candidate can defeat any other candidate head to head. Uh, it is possible, however, under the plurality method that Condorcet's criterion might not be satisfied. So let's see an example where that might happen. Okay, so here we have a preference table with three candidates, A, B, and C. A has three preference, first preference votes, and B and C each have two. So by the plurality method, A is the winner of the election. But it's easy to arrange the preference table so that uh, B uh, will beat every other candidate head to head. And just uh, arranging the A's and B's in this way, we see that the voters prefer B to A four to three. And if we line up some B's here and C's in the bottom row, then um, B will also beat C head to head. So in that case, uh, B would be able to beat every other candidate head to head, but yet A would win the election under the plurality method, and that would violate Condorcet's criterion.